You were in pretty much every frame of this movie. How did you approach playing this role and carrying the weight of this film? Uh, you know, it was a pretty uh, heavy film for me, uh, emotionally, but also the, the workload was pretty tense. But I, I think, you know, when you're making an independent film, there's, there's a camaraderie that happens um, where everyone understands that you're working against a limited budget, limited number of days, and you got to get in there and just give it your all. And, um, and I got to work with a, a longtime friend of mine, Robert Schwartzman. Um, we've known each other since 2006 or seven, And so there was a lot of trust built in. Um, and so, you know, while there's the heavy emotional moments of the film, at its core, it's really about hopefulness and, and family and connection. And that's kind of what I tried to focus on. And, um, you know, I'm thrilled now to see so much excitement about it and that people are, are here in the theater today. It's, it's bizarre and, uh, you know, amazing. I love the photos you posted recently of your family with Priyanka and Malti. And thinking of the title of this movie, it made me think, do you feel like you're in the good half of your life now as a husband and father? And how would you describe this era of your life? I mean, you know, hard to sort of pick a half. It's all been pretty uh, beautiful. But certainly, you know, after uh, we got married and had our daughter, life just got uh, a lot better. And, um, you know, to share moments like this with not only my wife, but before we left, saying goodbye to my daughter as she watches Moana or something is it's a pretty incredible thing. Like you said, you and Robert go way back. I went to the When You Look Me in the Eyes tour in 2008. I saw Rooney open for you guys. Take me back to that time, and what's one memory you have of when you first became friends? Uh, so we first met through our mutual producer, John Fields, um, who you know knew that we would hit it off right away, and uh, you know we wrote a couple songs and got to know each other and eventually do the tour. And uh, you know, he's just a phenomenal guy who has a really clear creative vision, whether it's in music or, or film. And uh, you know, I think we just kind of spoke the same language right away. And that's, that's what you need in a, in a collaborator. And um, you know, to be this far into our friendship and relationship and have a movie coming out together is a pretty cool thing. And I heard this movie was many years in the making. How did he first approach you about playing Ren in this film? Well, I first heard about the film because I got sent the script kind of out of nowhere. And I read it really quickly and then uh, picked it up again, read it right, right away again, and, and just thought it was so well-written and funny and sad and all the things. And um, kind of said, look, I, I want to do this if, if we can figure it out. And luckily, the stars aligned for the schedules to work out. And we went back to my home state of New Jersey and made the movie. And coming up, you're going to be in the last five years, returning to your Broadway roots. What is it about this show that made you want to come back to the theater? Well, this show is obviously so beloved. Um, it's never been on Broadway. Uh, so when I was approached by the creative team to, to, to bring it to Broadway for the first time, I was over the moon. I mean, I've, I've, at my core, I'm a theater kid. I'm a, a you know, theater nerd and um, couldn't be more excited to, to be a part of this production. And then to get to work with Adrian Warren uh, is a dream come true. She's a phenomenal talent and she's going to bring so much to, to the role of Kathy and uh, you know now that the tickets are on sale and it's it's you know closer every day I feel like uh, my excitement about it is just getting uh, bigger and bigger and and also my nerves are getting bigger and bigger but it's gonna it's gonna be a great experience and can't wait